Doing a museum video is quite tricky because when you go to a museum, you've got all the time in the world to wander around, study and read about the exhibits. But that experience is pretty hard to convey in a video with a short running time. So I thought of something a bit more provocative. The first museum tackles a subject that is very relevant to anyone living, working and visiting Thailand. It's the topic of ties and tiness. What is it? How does it work? And why do things here often defy logic? The second museum is a bit more thought provoking, but in a different way, depending on your beliefs, your mental toughness, your lifestyle, and in some ways, your levels of tolerance. These museums could change the way you look at life here in Thailand, and I'm very sure you'll come away from both places with a bit more knowledge. Enjoy. You know, you can live in Thailand for decades and never fully understand the workings of the country, its culture, the people. But here at the Museum of Siam is an exhibition called Decoding Thainess, and this could give you an insight and a few answers. Let's go and see what it's all about. So this section is called Defining Tinus, and there are exhibits on the walls, on the floor, on the ceiling that show Tinus through the years, through the ages. And it tells you a little bit about how they reflect in today's society. This section is called Magnificently Thai and it communicates the valuable beauty of Thai fine arts and architecture quite nicely actually and also conveys the belief and the faith that Thailand has towards the monarchy. This section is called Degrees of Thainess and it represents Thainess through the centuries in costume, fashion, dress sense. And I'm sure at some point many of you have worn at least two or three of these garments like the red ball vest, the Thai boxing shorts, the Song Grand shirt. I'm not sure about Ronald McDonald or the, was that an s and costume? I don't know, I'm out of touch. This area is called Thai Studio and you can dress up in these costumes, have your photos taken. Basically it's just to represent Thailand from a bygone era in the way they used to dress with the costume and the fashion of a different age. Again, interesting, but I'm not dressing up. This room is particularly useful if you don't have much understanding of Thai culture and the Thai way of doing things because there are boxes here with labels on and inside the boxes there are pictures, cards and basically an explanation in the most simple way of what it means. I'll give you an example, there's a box here with Song Grand Festival written on it. Inside the box is a water gun, powder and a bucket and basically that represents Song Grand. There are other more complex issues here like Krang Jai, Mai Pen Rai, Under the Table, The Way, and a lot more. So this is where you could spend a lot of time learning. This section is very interesting. It's called Thai Beliefs and it will give you an insight into commonly held beliefs and superstitions amongst Thais. And there are over a hundred artifacts here representing those beliefs and superstitions, including ghosts, Buddhism, Hinduism, plus a lot more, and how they fit into Thai society and how they influence the day-to-day -day living of many Thais.
This section is a lot of fun. It's called Only in Thailand, and it's a collection of things that are unmistakably Thai that you'll see on your day-to-day -day travels around Thailand, basically. And I know for sure you'll recognize a lot of these. Lessons in Thainess is what this section is called and this classroom is actually split into four different eras. It explains how the education system has instilled nationalism into students through the school curriculum. I eat Thai food about four times a week and this section gives you all the foreign names of common Thai dishes and um, that's about it. This section is called Thainess, Borrowed, and it gives you examples of architecture here in Thailand that has been influenced by other cultures and other countries. For example, the Grand Palace has influences from all over Europe and India. Hall on Pong Station was designed by Italian architects, and there's lots of other examples as well. So there's a few highlights of the Decoding Tynus exhibition here at Museum of Siam. There's so much more to see as well. Just a hundred baht to get in. Now I've got to make my way over to the other museum that I'm doing in this video, but it's just started raining, so I'll have to hang around. And I'm just wondering actually, where's this weather been influenced from? Maybe the UK, where it's always raining, but at the moment they got a heat wave. I've come to Surat Hospital here on the riverside in Tombury, arguably the most famous, the most advanced and the best medical facility in the country. This is where the royal family comes, so that pretty much says it all. Here they have two museums, they've got the Surat Pimuxatine Museum and the Medical Museum, which is where we're heading first. So that was Sura Rat Medical Museum. Very interesting, slightly unnerving. I wasn't allowed to shoot any video, but I did take loads of photographs, which I'll show you, of course. But I need to take the weight off my feet and sit down. So let's get back to the park. So I wanted to get to the park as quick as I could in case I needed somewhere to throw up in this case the river, but I'm okay. I've got a cast iron stomach, thank God, which is useful if you're visiting places like the Sirirat Medical Museum. So what did I see? Well, the first museum I went into was the Ellis Pathological Museum. This was named after A.G. Ellis, who laid the foundation for pathology in Thailand here in the 1920s. And as you walk into the lobby, there's a guy lying in a machine, not a real guy. And I didn't know this is what an iron lung look like massive great thing obviously technology has come a million miles since those days there's a room dedicated to cardiac functions how the heart works as well as heart diseases tells you all about blood circulation then you walk through to another area which covers pregnancy and childbirth from fertilization to being born as well as birth defects abnormalities and complications that are shown as either real specimens preserved 
or models. Either way, very graphic and definitely an eye-opener. The Forensic Science Museum is the place I was most interested in seeing because I read about it and I'd seen pictures of it. Anyway, as you walk in, there's an exhibition dedicated to the work of Sirirat Hospital at the scene of the Boxing Day 2004 tsunami where they dealt with the aftermath of processing the dead and the injured, the identification of victims, the type of injuries that were suffered, the distribution of food packages, and there's a real life reconstruction of the team dealing with dead bodies on the beach and wrapping them up. And also in this museum there's an exhibit on the development of forensic science, a task they have when they establish the cause of death after murders or accidents, there's also evidence from murder cases on display, as well as real organs damaged by various methods, including gunshot wounds, stabbings, accidents, substance abuse, disease, all of which are graphic, bloody, and a straight up look at the harshness of reality. It's definitely not for the faint hearted. The last place I went to was the Museum of Anatomy, and for that you've got to go round to a different building and they display every single part of the human body from cross sections of entire torsos, muscles, organs, bone structures, skin. They've got specimens of real bodies of all ages in various forms of dissection, deformities. And if you ever wanted to know what your arterial or nervous system actually looks like, this is the place to go. Impressive, but disturbing all the same. So definitely an educational couple of hours spent here at Sirirat Hospital. It's 200 baht to get into the Medical Museum and also 200 baht to get into the Pimuksatan Museum. To get here, you can get a riverboat to Tombury Old Railway Station Pier or the MRT to Bang Kun Non, where it's either a quick taxi or bike ride or about a 10 minute walk. And if you do come, I suggest having lunch beforehand. So there we are, two museums, so much more to learn about Thailand. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Like, share and comment. If you want to support the channel, you can do so via the Buy Me A Coffee link on the screen or down below, or you can join the channel and become a member. That just leaves me to say thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.